we added two features in 3.1 that really help with scale. Uh, one of those is templatizing flows. So think about it as I have a single flow configuration that actually is the same as creating hundreds of flows, but I'm doing it in a single configuration, just like you can, or in previous versions you could with inputs and instances. The second feature is being able to pull those flow template parameters from a third party source, like a database or CSV file. So you can keep that configuration outside of Highbyte, and we can ingest that in real time and kind of dynamically scale as we go. So let me show you these examples uh, real quick. So I'll start with a templated flow. In this case, uh, my use case here is I've got multiple machines behind an OPC UA server. I want to monitor every one of those machines, and I want to monitor the state of those machines. And when there's a state change, I want to push that to my UNS. So here I have an ID, that's the machine ID in this case. I'm ranging it one through four. So that this is really creating four flows behind the scenes. It's the same as if I manually created those. And I'm passing that parameter down to my instance, which passes it to my input and I'm outputting over uh, the UNS. And then as my trigger, I'm looking at a particular tag uh, on, on line one conveyor uh, for the ID. So when this is on, what this will look like, you know, this is my UNS, I've, I've built it one, two, three, four, and you can see that there's uh, no updates being processed uh, because there's no state changes. But if I come in here and I write a zero to here, you'll see a message gets driven because there was a state change. So really, I've, I've, this is the fast way to build you know, four flows, essentially. Uh, the other thing that I've done, uh, the other thing that we did is, is templatize, make, make these parameters dynamic. So rather than have to define these statically, what I can do now, and I'm just going to do this, and then I'll back out and show you what it's, how it works, is I've set up a CSV file uh, that has these template parameters. And if you expand it, you can see that file has an ID, name, string, so these are the headers for the file, and then each one of these is the value. So if I drag this in, I'm pulling those parameters. This, I'm only using the ID parameter in this case, but I could use the other ones, but I'm pulling them from the file. So when I save this, the end result is the same, right? There's, there's no real change here. I'm just pulling the template parameters from somewhere else. And if we go and look at the CSV file and do a test read in Highbyte, you can see we're reading each row. That's the header name. That's the value. So these are the values we have access to in the template. And if I go look out here, you can see it's a really simple file. So now I can include this in a database or somewhere else. Highbyte can reference that. And if I go and add conveyor five, for example, I just add it to this line, save it, and automatically get pulled into uh, the Highbyte flow. So I can drive that configuration externally.